Hey guys, it's your girl Tara Crush, and I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back with another review. And this time it's for the oval. Wait a minute, oval. Oval. <laughs> it's for the oval on BET. If you haven't already hit my subscribe button, bam, there I ask. I ask. All I can do is ask. All you can say is no. Okay, so. Apparently, we were hoodwinked by a dream last week. Yes, I'm jumping right into it because I don't appreciate that. I thought we had some mid-season drama going on, three quarters of the season through, and we didn't. It was all a dream. I used to read Word Up magazines, but they never lied to me like this. So, apparently, there was no shooting. Sam didn't shoot his wife. His wife didn't shoot Priscilla. I mean, didn't shoot Victoria. I kind of wish she had. I am got sick of Priscilla. I'm done with her. I'm done with her acting. I'm done with her character. You can't be this man. I'm just saying. You should have been this man a long time ago. It seems off place, off putting. It don't make sense. From one minute you straight, you calm. The next minute you can't stop shaking. I don't understand it. She was just in the office and you was calm. And what was said was no more than what you saw in that video. So I'm not, I don't get it. I'm not, I'm not buying the breaking point because you've had about 19 this season. Honey, I'm over her. I'm over it. I'm sorry. If I'm the only one that's over it, I'm sorry. I am. I'm over it. And they done drug little, uh, little raper, uh, Jason back into the White House or whatever. Like he's just, I don't know. They should have drug him to the doggone facility right then and there. I don't understand why he's back in the White House. And Ellie, bless her heart, like, why would you even listen to anything Hunter has to say? Hunter don't care about you, girl. Hunter care about your skills and pleasing him. That's all he care about. He does not care about you. You talking about that's what matters. It don't matter to you either because you keep on messing with this man. How you go from I don't, how you go from almost being sexually assaulted to letting that person's father bend you over a desk, I don't know. But I'm not feeling you at all, Ellie, girl. You're going to have to be a little bit stronger. I don't see. She couldn't be my friend. My, I don't have weak friends. My friends are not weak like that because we'd be fighting all the time. Like, girl, what was you thinking? What was you thinking? But I did find it funny when Victoria swung around and popped upside the head with that purse. That was funny. When she was getting, oh, man, that was funny to me. <laughs> I, I giggled a little. But then I had to ask myself, why the heck does Victoria and Hunter keep antagonizing the people that the other one is sleeping with like they care like victoria you don't care nothing about hunter you don't care who he's sleeping with why are you always antagonizing um ellie hunter you don't care nothing about victoria why are you always antagonizing sam i don't understand it why it doesn't make any sense like for y'all's characters y'all should be happy that somebody is keeping them out of y'all each other's face but you're not are you you gotta keep that dynamic, which is to me overplayed and overdone. Uh, let's see. Jason asking, you know, his mother, of course, talking down to him. You're a creep. You're this, you're that, all this. Yeah. That's what her mother used to do to her. Remember, I think it was first season, she was talking about how her mother would make her feel ostracized and make her feel like she was a black sheep because she was darker skinned. And, um, she would say, I mean, if I'm remembering correctly, y'all gonna have to, you know, correct me if I'm wrong because she, you know, some of these Tyler Perry shows do this in my brain. But I'm almost certain that her mother was a uh, uh, colorist and didn't really care for her because she was dark as skin and she messed up the family. Now, I ain't the smartest woman in the world, but didn't she marry a dark skin man? Because I believe that her father on this show is the, you know, you're the messed up, right? <laughs> From in to society. And I'm sorry, but he is not fair complected. He's more complected. So how, I don't understand how she, I mean, what, what kind of child you thought she was going to have, ma'am? She wasn't going to be your color if you're, but never mind. I'm not even saying that, but yeah. I never, that never made any sense, but it does make sense to me how she sits in her son's face and just berates him because that's what was done to her. 
Now, does he deserve the berate? Yeah, he's a, he, he shouldn't even be there. He should have been gone two bodies ago. Like, I don't understand what Jason is still doing in the White House at all. And he should have been gone. Like, has his sister gone before him and he's killing people? I don't understand that. Um, to me, Kareem is a jerk. He's a, uh, like I said, y'all, he's a narcissist. So he only cares about himself and he only sees things from his view. Like, he like, he loves, uh, he loves Sharon because of the way Sharon makes him feel and how Sharon makes him look. He doesn't really love Sharon for herself and who she is. It's all about him and life according to him. So him proposing in the in the hospital, like she said, was because he knew Barry was there and he didn't want Barry and her to have a moment because they had just lost their child. So I don't like Kareem even more after this episode. Him trying to hide her from Barry and just standing there looking all stupid and antagonizing him was just wrong. And the one time that I think Barry did a good job acting is when he said, why I keep on losing my children? That, that, that almost made me cry a little bit. And then he started making the face again, like, and then I forgot that, you know, he was a bad actor, you know, and it all went out the window. But that moment was like, I felt that for like five seconds. I did. I felt Barry and I did not want him off the show for them five seconds. So I definitely want to make sure I make it clear for five seconds. I wanted Barry on this show. I didn't want him to leave. I didn't want no truck to come and hit him. I didn't want Donkey Kong to come and hit him upside the head. Like, I didn't want none of that for like five seconds. When he said, well, I keep on doing my children. I felt it. I don't, I don't, don't ask me why. So again, Priscilla and this, um, entire act about i can't take it anymore i can't take it anymore it's it's, it's i'm over it i i, I don't i quit because when your husband told you to go home you said i'm not going home. and then when richard's trying to get you to come down no nah, i'm not going to calm down chase up chase up shut up shut your face you knew she was there when you came into work. You knew she was there yesterday. You knew she was there when she got into the White House. So I'm just one of those people. How long are we going to complain about the same thing and not do anything about it? How long are we going to do that? Because that's getting on my nerves. Shh. On my nerves. Uh, moving right along. Lily and Bobby wanted to see each other. It's like, I, I'm, I'm over the bipolar, hot, cold stuff with Lily. She's, she gets on my nerves anyway. Um... And I don't like the fact that, you know, Victoria is trying to make her become a good friend to her. I don't like that at all. They can, no, I don't like that pair. They're not ever going to be good friends because Victoria is never going to be without a motive. She's definitely got an ulterior motive and I don't like that. So, but again, at this point, I don't really too much care for Lily because Lily is to me revealing herself to be very, very selfish towards Bobby. And I keep on, you know, trying to text Bobby my address. Um... Bobby is more than welcome to come here and show me the same kind of love he showed Lily in that airport bathroom. I'm throwing it out there again. I am in Atlanta, Georgia. Well, not Atlanta, but right outside in one of the suburbs. Come get me, Bobby. Bobby, did you... <laughs> I don't know, baby. I just feel like you owe me three months of good sex and terrible ass. So come on, let's get it started. Come on. <laughs> but I, you know, I just kind of thought it was kind of off the wall with Bobby deciding that now was the time for them to actually go and try to assassinate the president when he's in the middle of a motorcade on his way to see one of the most powerful men in the world who happens to be Victoria's father. I don't think that's a very bright idea. And we see from the clip coming into next week that um, that Cal winds up shooting at somebody. I don't know who. But um, I wouldn't mind seeing that whole first family die, honestly. <laughs> Can we get a whole new first family in there? And where is the vice president? Who is Hunter's vice president? Do y'all know who the vice president is? Have we seen the vice president at all? He don't ever come in and have nothing to say. Yeah, I'm ready for uh, this president and his first family to be gone. And I'm ready for the uh, vice president. Come on, come on, come on in. Because these people is crazy and they don't, they, 
they getting on my nerves. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would much rather you come on in. Yeah, we're going to have to go ahead and swear you in. Put your, put your, okay, here we go. Is it, is it right hand on the Bible? Let me put both hands on the Bible. <laughs> swear me in. <laughs> but, you know, we'll see how that plays out next week. And I think that's about it. I didn't, um, like like I said, it was the most touching moment for me is when Barry said those little words. And for five seconds, like I said, I didn't want him off the show. And that, that to me, is monumental. Because that's like the first time since this show, show started that I didn't want him off of it. So, <laughs> there's that on that. So, I'm anxious to see how Barry and Sharon might come back together. But not that I'm really a fan of hers. I think her getting away from Kareem is going to be the best thing for her because eventually he would isolate her from people. He would, yeah, he's 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 not him. He's not him. And clearly she still has feelings for Barry. So she'll be over there later tonight, probably topping him off like she was doing Kareem. The, never mind. <laughs> I'm going to leave it right there. I'm going to leave it right there. Those dirty children. And that is my $5.02. I will see y'all next week. Peace.